The radio blur tool in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 is extremely handy. For example, it's now possible and very easy to fake long exposure shots of the water. Now we all know what long exposure shots of water look like. The water looks as smooth as glass and the sky also looks very nice and smooth as well. And today I'm going to turn this image into a fake long exposure shot of the water. As you can see here, it was actually taken at one two. Uh, 1 to 50th of a second which is definitely not a long exposure at all and it was also taken at ISO 100. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take the radial blur tool and if you haven't already watched my video on how to uh, process a photo in Lightroom uh, number one I think it's called something like that you might want to go and watch that first because that basically uh, says all about the radial blur tool and what it does and that and how we can make it uh, fake a long exposure shot of the water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and actually I'm going to do the sky first. So I'm going to drag it over the sky a bit like that. And if your saturation's down like mine, pull it up. And you can also reduce details in the sky a bit by reducing the exposure or increasing it if you need to. And in the sky, we're going to pull the clarity up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do with the sky there. Now. The sky is important, and this image might not work terribly well, but the water is even more important. So we're going to drag over the water, and then you can see here it's already beginning to look quite smooth. And all we need to do is pull the saturation up a bit, really reduce the clarity. Now, make sure when you're reducing the clarity, you try not to reduce the clarity of other things such as those boats too much. You might need to adjust the size of your um, radial blur in order to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. Shadows you can uh, change, uh, pull them up. Basically what you want is the water to look quite bright and actually a smidge overexposed. You can see here the exposure is uh, 1.24 stops above the rest of the picture. You can play around with it but actually that's almost ideal. Uh, contrast you can play around with and all that stuff as well, as well as the tint. I'm actually going to leave it a bit like that. And the water does look quite smooth. Now if you need to change it at any time you can pull it up and no, not pull it, well, sort of pull it up. You can change the uh, size of the mask. Now you can go and process the rest of the image as you normally would. And for these sort of shots, I know that black and white does actually look quite nice. So that's what I'm going to go and turn my image into. Black and white image, tiny bit of highlight priority as well. And let's also go and slap some tones on because tones are good. I'm not really taking any time or care with processing this, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm just doing it quick for uh, video's sake. But as you can now see, the water does look quite smooth. Stick it back in colour and see what it looks like. Ugh. Yeah, it looks all right. But as you can see, the water looks quite smooth. And that's basically effect the effect that we wanted to get. This image might not have been the best one to do the demonstration on something like this. Uh, does work quite well. So I'm going to be like that. Uh, also works well on this actually and this bit here looks smooth but as you can see you've got the reflections there. So thanks for watching my tutorial on how to fake a long exposure water shop on Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. Hopefully you get the idea on how it's done.